We're here with Peter Shankman from Harrow, among many other things. Um, Peter, I really loved everything that you said in the panel right now. One of the really interesting conversations that took place was about differences in pitching to a blogger versus a journalist. Could you talk a little bit more about that and what are the main points that people should take away in terms of approaching those two uh, targets? Yeah, I mean, one of the key points is, is really a journalist and a blogger, they're different, but you still have to, they're still a lot of the same in the respect that you still want a good story, you want a good pitch, you want interesting information, you want to give them valuable stuff that they can use to turn into a story. Whether they're writing for the New York Times or Joe's House of Blogs, they still have information that they want to get out to their audience. Give them that in the best way possible and they will use your work. Now, you also talked a little bit about how to get a pitch to go on New York Times or the Wall Street Journal and one of the, some of the main sites. How should someone go about that if that's their ultimate goal? I mean, if your ultimate, look, your ultimate goal is to be in the New York Times and only the New York Times, it, that's like saying, I only want to date a supermodel, and yet there are like tons of women all around who really like you and who want to date you who are really awesome, but you just, you don't even see them. So I think people need to stop focusing, yeah, it's great to be in the New York Times, but don't miss all the other stuff that exists around you. And so, again, whether it's New York Times or a blog or whatever, have interesting information that you've packaged well in a, in a, in a, a couple of paragraphs at the most that interest, you know, in a good way that people understand it so you can get that story out there. Reporters are doing so much more with so much less now that if you can give them a good story in a couple of paragraphs that they can look at, they'll use it. Another really interesting thing you talked about was uh, the importance of tying in events and things that are going on with your pitch. When do you think that's going overboard and when someone can actually use that to annoy the blogger or the journalist? I think, again, if it, ask yourself, is this something, if someone sent it to me, would I laugh or would it just be annoying? You know, if you can, ask, if you could say, "Oh yeah, that would make me, that would make me laugh." That's funny. Or ask a friend who's not involved with you, who who isn't isn't embarrassed to give you the straight dope. You know, is that worth something? Hearing is it is it is it funny, or are you just trying too hard? No one wants to be friends with the guy who's trying too hard. Got it. Thank you very much.